Man, rising kings, queens, gods, and goddesses, David, Jacarius, Kai, multi exclusive dimension of being Kai, but another exclusive. This video is going to be about why K. Osiris is actually Kai. Okay, so this is the Osiris Kai video. This video is going to be about why K. Osiris is allegations towards him being locked up. The video that he made and created to put out there for the public to understand and understand and basically vibe on that. Think about that before they enter or put themselves in circumstances, situations, and conditions that elaborate into getting them prosecuted, put in tough positions, or basically being a slave on a man-to-man -man basis. But basically, this video is going to be about the video he made, why he was locked up, and why these circumstances only play out the way it plays out when opening your mouth about situations that they signed in the contract your soul on to basically don't discuss to the public. Listen, YK Osiris is a rapper, Fergo, for me. It's a mutated sign. So basically, in the video, he was explaining about the music industry. He was explaining about his dislikes, what he wanted to accomplish, and basically him feeding his family, right? So, like, you got to understand and understand that this world we in, this world we reside in, it's hell. Feel me? You got to understand and understand from the day you enter, from the day your soul entered the body and been born into this family, you was programmed to go to school, work a nine to five, work for somebody, and basically abide by the terms and conditions of what a government created. Satan created for you to abide by. It's just the world we live in. <clears throat> and basically, a lot of people are going to be coming back to this world because they didn't break out of that system. They abide by it. They got comfortable. They, they agreed to receive the short end of the stick. So with that being said, when you agree to turn the conditions like that, that's what you will experience. But if you don't want to agree to those terms and conditions, you want to break out of that shit, manifest, and basically ascend and not get too attached to this physical realm, that's a manifestation that's inside of you that you got to basically show the commitment towards the universe to, in order for this thing to inhabit and to go into your way of living and not basically being pushed or brushed up against something that basically have no control, no meaning until they get their energy out of you. A system of government. So listen, YK Osiris, right? He was explaining everything that happened. He regretted putting himself into a predicament as sacrificing his soul to receive money, cars, and whichever that correlates or comes to his point of view of him basically being successful. For me, everybody got to understand and understand you. you you're rich already. You're successful with or without the money, materialistic things, people, places, and things. You have a soul. You have a spirit. It's powerful. You have a human experience on this body, on this level. It's powerful. You got to understand and understand to appreciate that shit. Because you got millions and billions of trillions of ghosts that got attached to this realm. That basically got a, caught up into this realm. That's basically getting caught up every single day and creating ghosts for themselves to be inhabiting and to be left behind. So, of course, if anything you come across that's not yours, you're going to feel their presence. You're going to feel their energy. You're going to feel their vibe. Some will scare you. Some will make you run off. And some will put you in circumstances and position, conditionings to basically inhabit and impact their energy and carry their baggages that basically that they left behind. That's how they can be born inside, inside your world. These ghosts can be born inside your body. Because basically, it's a spirit that came inside of you. And you remember your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts ain't yours. So whatever, you, since that, since you came out of, out of a vagina, you've been receiving information, energy, air. But you think you do every day. You breathe in spirits every day. That's, what you're, that's what's happening every single day. So basically, like Osiris, he breathed in this shit. He put his two eyes, his third eye towards basically becoming a rapper, becoming an artist. And of course... He correlates everything to God. God this, God that, Jesus this, Jesus that. But you need to understand and understand what God are you talking about? Did you meet him face to face, feel me? Anybody can say there's a God. 
There's guards all over the planet. But there's a one overall creator, creation that created everything. The spirits, the souls, and the beings as one. The food, the growth, nature, everything correlates. But of course, <coughs> Satan wanted to basically have his experience of becoming a god. And basically having people go through him to try to make it through heaven. But basically, you got to understand and understand that everything is a test on this planet. And basically, it's a f battle for souls, not a battle for the race. Fuck the race, fuck the color, fuck the skin. It's a battle for the souls. And when you give your soul away, and you got to basically repeat the whole process again. Especially if you sold your soul on that level for music, fame, industry, balance, space. That's, that's what's put out there to distract you, to make it seem like, okay, you need to be focused on this. But most importantly, you need to focus on the world inside of you, the being inside of you, your spirit, your soul, your, your human body got to be on a third party, got to be up up to date, can't be one down here, one down there, one down there, you got to get that shit up there, get it on point, that's why it's good to go within yourself, find yourself, find your purpose, and know more about your natal charts, to see the energies that you basically can carry and inhabit all over these traits, so with that being said, YK Osiris, he was allegedly locked up after create, making that video about him exposing the music industry, what goes on on a daily basis, why you shouldn't sell yourself, why you shouldn't put yourself in circumstances and situations like that. When he was locked, the reason why they say he put hands on his girlfriend is basically to basically make it seem like, okay, we got to go after this guy. He put too much shit out there. So we're going to create something to put out there in the media to make it to make people go against him, to make it seem like that, okay, boom. He said, oh, he did this to his his girlfriend, he did that. But y'all got to understand and understand. That's someone or something, a person, point of view. Did you see him put hands on his girlfriend? No. Did you see a video about his girlfriend speaking about, about it? No. Was there proof? No. If there's no proof, don't believe this shit. Stop believing shit on the media, right? The shit is lies. The shit is not the truth. That's like basically letting somebody... Talk for you, but yet you can't back the shit up because why they you rely on them to talk for you, you rely on them to get the information out there for you. But you ain't go and through the bridges and tunnels, you ain't seek, you ain't fly, you ain't see what was going on, you ain't see what happened in order for you to get the information. You just basically go on, on what the media said. The media destroys people, destroys people that's not a part of the media, destroys people that's a part of the media. So you gotta understand and understand and basically separate the two from each other. And have a brain. Use both these. Don't just use one side of the brain. Use both the left and the right. This way you'll be able to get your information. And you will question things. And you will know and receive information. That's basically, you got to put two and two together. You got to start from the bottom and work your way up to the top to see what's going on. Got to look on the outside of you. And sometimes you also got to look on the inside of you. Got to be balanced with this shit. You feel me? Can't just put all your attention to one thing or this basically gonna be like this. You just go on with everything they say up there and you forgetting to use this brain to fucking get it up there to see what's going on. That's how they fuck you. Feel me? But yeah, don't put your circumstance don't put yourself in circumstances situation conditions with YK Osiris in, feel me? You all being <coughs> be thankful for what you have and you can manifest shit by putting in the work. You ain't got to sell your soul for music and all this bullshit. It's a waste of time for me. Just basically lowering yourself to be in control by beings that need your light in order for them to take out their agenda. And that's what's going on. For me, that goes to for everybody that exposed the music industry. Same with Kodak Black or these other rappers. They expose these people and what happened? Boom. They get put in a circumstance and situation. These people, they don't even be going to regular prison. They own private prisons where they torture and basically put pills and needles and utilize things to control these rappers to make sure they don't talk. And when they keep talking, they just going to find ways to come up with conclusions that, oh, this person is going to be gone for a while, locked up in prison. And the whole time, they're just creating another body out of that person to become a clone. And that's how shit is. So don't put yourself in that predicament. It's not fun. It's not cool. It's not right. But deep down, you got to manifest shit together. In order, for us, in order for us to get shit done together, we got to come together and manifest shit together. But don't put yourself in circumstances and situations. 
be based and relying on things like that. So trust me, it's a lot of beings out here that want your soul. A lot of demons that want your soul and need your light to come back in this world. For real. Mota exclusive dimensional being Kyle with another exclusive. Rate, comment, subscribe, share. Get the information out there. And oh yeah, beware. Be aware of what you do on a daily basis. It can come back and haunt you.